You happy? Vincent? You happy? Yeah, we happy. Recently, I've made a lot of videos on rare tanks in War Thunder, but as far as I know, this one is the absolute rarest. This is the AMX-50 Sir Blondie. Sir Blondie. As far as I know, only about 500 people own one of these. It was supposed to be more, but in the event to get it, a lot of people cheated, and they were subsequently banned, so it's even rarer than the E100. As far as what the vehicle actually is, it's supposed to be a more armored version of the AMX-50, but as far as I know, it actually isn't that big of a difference. Like, you can see here the plate is thinner, but it's also at a larger angle. And most things are going to pen you anyway. So it technically has more armor, but it's not really going to make a difference. The Commander does have a 20mm autocannon, which is pretty nice. Really what makes this tank is the gun. Essentially it has the M103's gun, but it fires every 6 seconds, versus the M103 that fires maybe once every 15 seconds. Granted, you get up-tiered against MBTs with stabilizers and APMSDS, but I really enjoy playing the base AMX-50, so I think this is going to be the same. So it's pretty good. But before we get started, a word from my sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. In case you've been living under a rock, Raid is a mobile turn-based RPG. And as you guys know, I'm typically pretty skeptical of any sponsorship offer I get, but I actually tried Raid and was pleasantly surprised by it. I'm not usually a fan of mobile games, but Raid looked great and was pretty easy to get into. The gameplay was also a nice mix of engaging and relaxing. It's been a top mobile game for a while now, and it's pretty easy to see why. Since its inception, Raid has continuously received new content, such as the new Doom Tower, full of new bosses, it features over 120 levels. There's also the new Hydra Clan boss, Raid's toughest challenge yet. Raid now has over 600 champions. One new champion is the Ultimate Death Knight, who I can relate to because I also look like a skeleton. Everybody can get him for free. To do so, you just need to play for 7 days between now and October 27th. And if you want free items for him, you can use the code DKRISES. If you haven't played Raid yet, you can use the link in my description. That'll get you a free epic champion, 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard. So I would really encourage you guys to give it a try. I personally had fun playing it, and I think you will too. You can download it from the link or the QR code. Anyway, let's get back to the video. And it looks like our first game is a max down tier, so I reckon it'll be pretty good. It's definitely not the fastest, but it also weighs 70 tons, so I can't complain too much. Now my issue with the 120 is that it was designed to take out IS-3s, but in War Thunder it can't upper front plate a T-54. It could for a while, but I think it got nerfed, which is unfortunate. Yeah, pro tip, uh, the backwards IS-2 trick doesn't work if the person is firing AP. It's just a shame that AP really doesn't have a good niche. It really doesn't do anything better than its counterparts. What did I just get hit by? That's a P8, isn't it? Yep, yes it is. No, don't draw its attention! I thought there was somebody in here, but I can't hear anybody. Oh, wait. I'm actually really surprised we got use of 20 mil. I thought it would largely be useless. It's my first match in the thing, and I'm already sad that it's just a test drive. Yeah, it's actually so rare that I can't request it permanently. And you know, even if you wanted to, you can't buy it. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Yeah, looks like my prediction was correct. AMX-50 in a down tier is nasty. It sucks that this is basically unobtainable, but I can kind of see why they did it. The entry AMX-50 is basically the same thing, but it would have been nice to have it as a backup. Is this a max up tier? Glad we got him out of the game early. Unless he has a backup anyway. You might have noticed I'm playing it somewhat carefully. That's because, as I mentioned earlier, it really doesn't have armor. Like, really, anything can pen it pretty easily.
Uh. Okay. Actually, very surprised that we are still alive. Oh. Yeah, we're getting stomped. And we got Stalingrad. Again. Another down tier, but not as significant this time. Yeah, I definitely wish this thing was faster. You know, I probably should have used my 20 mil on him. How? This gun is very nice to use because the damage is great, but you also get weird moments like that where it just doesn't want to pen. I think it's because AP slope mods can be very odd sometimes. And I know there's a tendency to want to use heavy tanks for breakthrough, or as shields basically, but in the case of something like the AMX-50, it's really best to use as a sniper. This situation is suboptimal. Can we shoot through? Apparently we could. This ASU keeps following me around, and I wish he would not. Can't hear anything over his engine noise. I swear the map rotation has been worse recently. I feel like I keep getting the same three maps over and over again. How did that non-pen? Can we hit his lower front plate? Yes. I'm surprised a DDoS attack hasn't ruined this gameplay. What? Okay, so when our teammate shot that guy before, they did nothing, apparently. And that goes to show how ineffective this thing's armor is. 90 mil APHE pen the turret. Actually getting a fair amount of use out of the 20 mil. Okay. The down tiers have been very generous, actually. This is not good. Uh, everyone's gonna be rushing here now. <laughs> I am extremely surprised that IS-6 did not obliterate us. That was probably the worst place he could have shot. Why? Why would you do that? He he had to have known I was there. I feel like people get too overconfident with overpressure sometimes. Oh, we're gonna play the ramming game now, huh? Do I really not have enough gun depression? Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of ammo before I kill him. Dog, how? That was genuinely the most annoying thing I've experienced in a long time. Yeah, there's no way we're winning this. That fight with the IS-4 demonstrated another thing, which is that Volumetric really does not like rounds like this, because it's so big, it's full bore AP. We are just getting absolutely wiped.
I don't know what they did to T44s, but they feel so much more tanky now. I don't know if it's just component density or what. It's probably partially volumetric as well. Oh. Oh, cool. I think, if anything, playing this is just strengthening my dislike for Russian tanks in this BR range. I definitely hear an enemy tank over here. It's probably a PT. No, Object 906. Arguably just as bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I think I've been playing long enough. I had 51 kills and 8 deaths, which gives us a KD of 6.4 if you round up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this. I'm going to be really sad when the test drive runs out, because it's a lot of fun to play. But yeah, if you guys have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.